I'm going to play a drum roll that I executed in the song, A View from the Top of the World. Then I'll speak about what it is, how to approach playing it, and, and why it was played. Because there's confusion uh, about a couple of those major questions, you know, the what and the why. And I know a lot of people don't know about the how, so I'll talk a little bit about that, which should be helpful. So anyway, here it is. So, there are 11 notes total in that roll, six with the hands and five with the feet. They were evenly spaced out against two pulses. Pulse six and seven because the beat is seven, okay? It's, it's technically 21-8 because there are seven dotted quarter notes. But I'll, I'll play something related to that in a second uh, when I go into the, um, the why part. So... Those groupings of notes, the six and the five, are not separated. They're not each within a beat. I played that from intuition and feel. That wasn't calculated or anything. That's a lot of the, the why part of, 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 of me that's misunderstood. I said I calculate things. And I'm like, hello. Uh, by the time this video is over and how long it's probably going to take me to explain it, You'll know I didn't do all this thinking in the span of less than a half a second and that I just played that. So um, as I'll explain, if I had thought about it, all the things that could have been played. But my intuition took over and pieced together the elements that I put in my database. First of all, those 11 notes fit against two of these pulses. Evenly. Had I thought about this, oh, I think I'll play 11 notes. Like, I probably would have played a six tuplet and a five tuplet like this. You know what I mean? But like I said, I did it from intuition and feeling. That's not the feeling I want. That's. Ugh. I don't know, that disturbs, to me that disturbs the beat where the, the evenly placed notes do what a roll is supposed to do, is like suspend the time but still give you an assemblance of, of where the downbeat is. You know, listen to what the function of a roll. Okay. bunch of notes and fit them into time and that's the other approach now since I played 12 notes the first time this section happened it's probably why when I improvise it I thought I know the feeling I want and I just went at it and I ended up taking a note away from the 12 so I played 11 instead of 12 because the band's intent in that section is like chaos you know if, if we wanted to let you feel all the pulses all the time I probably would have played something like this Those last two notes, you can you definitely feel those. The pulse, boom, bang, bang. It just, it's never ending. Don't stop. It's repeating. The first time we played that section, I played 12 notes in the place where I just played 11. And so the, when that came up again, it's like, oh, I need something that's a little chaotic. And so it's odd couple, let's do that. But I whipped out that 11. So what is it? The six notes on the snare fit before the second pulse. So one, two, one, two. They fit before the two. So the six notes have to fit before it, but not hit the second pulse like this. Two, one, two, one. Okay. Now I'm counting two. I'm counting the two pulses. I am not fitting the pulse into this. Like this pattern is not the time. The time resides within the pulse in the subdivision between these beats over here. So I wasn't 
calculating that. <laughs> I didn't sit there at that rate and go, oh, I'm going to fit the six before the rhythm and hit the second pulse and like perfectly computerized. Me, I'm a computer. I'm going to fit these notes here and place them there. No, 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 no. This is already well established in my database. Now I'm not calculating, you know, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not sticking the pulse between those notes. It's a, um, it was an intuitive reaction to suspend the time. That's all. To add a little bit of chaos. If you want to learn it, go to my Vimeo page and rent the not quite double system. That's the binary system that would allow a non-musician to wire up this stuff like really fast. It took me about. The binary allows it to be smooth. Yeah. So the not quite doubled approach is how to learn to add to your database. So, so like elements and improvisation is putting these elements together and creating new compounds, I guess. So that's what it was. Uh, what it is not is a six and a five. That is not the feeling that I wanted. And this all comes from feeling. It's if there was a desired feeling and I have enough in the database to get that out. It happens to be something that for many is complicated or sounds complicated. But it's, I think that has to do with that person's perception of it. And it's a misperception of what it is. If you get it from this other angle, it's like looking at a television your whole life and never going around to see what it looks like on the back and trying to say what it looks like on the back without ever going around and looking. It's you're better off going around and looking, getting the perspective from all angles so you really got it, uh, really have a, a, a full view from a full perspective. And that's what really is, um, uh, is important here, if you're interested in it, is getting a full perspective on how to get feeling out in an intuitive way. But you gotta, you got to work a little bit. you gotta, you got to load up that database. So there you go. That's a view from the top of the world, the drum roll in the chaotic section in the middle from a point of chaos where Dream Theater takes 17 in the alien and makes it sound like 4-4 four, four and it isn't. Or we take something that's straight up and simple and try to make it sound a little more complex than it really is, a little creative and all that. So there's a philosophy. That's the how, a suggestion as to, to the how to do this. And then that's the what. There you go. And like I said at the beginning, if you think I did all this thinking in a span of less than a half a second, that would be an erroneous uh, opinion. Okay. See ya.